Today, I'm announcing a $503 million investment in police and the wider justice sector to reduce crime, prevent it in the future, and keep our communities safe. This Safer Community Package has three parts. First, targeting and catching offenders. Second, preventing crime and reducing victimisation. And third, delivering a more responsive police service. This significant taxpayer investment comes with a range of challenging performance targets for the police. They include higher attendance at home burglaries, seizing more assets from organised crime, reducing deaths from family violence, and reducing reoffending by Māori. Meeting these targets won't be easy, but we're not here to shy away from the hard issues of making change in our community. Safer Communities uh, provides funding for over 1,100 additional police staff, of whom 880 will be sworn officers. This will increase the number of sworn officers to nearly 9,800 by June 2021, and the number of non-sworn staff to over 3,200. That's a 10% increase in the size of the police force over the next four years. The package includes a new national 24-7 phone number for non-emergencies, more staff for up to 20 rural and regional police stations so that 95% of the population lives within 25 kilometres of a 24-7 police presence. More specialist investigators for child protection, sexual assault, family violence and other serious crime. Additional resources to deal with burglaries, youth offending and other community crimes. More officers to target organised crime and around-the-clock capability for the police Eagle helicopter. All police districts will receive extra officers with police deciding how many will go where based on need. We are unashamedly targeting offenders to ensure they are off our streets by providing additional resources for police to resolve more crime target criminal gangs and target organised crime. We're also providing additional resources to address the underlying drivers of crime through pre preventative work by the police, particularly with other agencies, and rehabilitation for prisoners. This large investment is possible only because of New Zealanders hard work to build a strong economy backed by the government's plan to create economic opportunities and get our books back in order. While the increase in police numbers is important, what really matters is ensuring it delivers results for the community, a safer community now and into the future. Mm -hmm.